Module 3.1 As a reminder, it's recommended to print the video script and annotate the script while watching the video for later use. Video scripts are available on Canvas. Module 3.1 How can researchers study the relationship between variables? It is often the case that we would like to know about the relationship between two variables. You have probably read about studies involving two variables without realizing it. Visit the health section of any major news outlet and you will find an article like this one. Marijuana legalization could help offset opioid epidemic studies find. Experts have proposed using medical marijuana to help Americans struggling with opioid addiction. Now, two studies suggest there is merit to that strategy. The studies, published Monday in the Journal of Internal Medicine, compared opioid prescription patterns in the states that have enacted medical cannabis laws with those that have not. One of the studies looked at opioid prescriptions covered by Medicare Part D between 2010 and 2015 while the other looked at opioid prescriptions covered by Medicaid between 2011 and 2016. You can read more following the link in the script. The news article is looking at the relationship between the following two variables, type of marijuana laws and number of opioid prescriptions. To determine if the two variables are related to one another, we must first determine how the two variables may be interacting with one another. We usually identify one of the variables as the explanatory and one as the response. Definitions. The explanatory variable is the variable which helps us understand the value of another variable. It is also known as the independent variable. In the news article, where a state has marijuana laws would be the explanatory variable since the researchers are looking to see if marijuana legalization can change opioid prescription patterns. The response variable is the variable we want to observe changed in based on the explanatory variable. It is also known as the dependent variable. In the above news article, number of opioid prescription patterns would be the response variable since the researchers are looking to see if the number of prescriptions changes based on whether a state has marijuana laws. Your turn. Read the following examples and identify the explanatory and response variable. Pause the video and when you come back, we'll look at the answers together. Suppose we are interested in determining if a person's favorite jelly bean flavor explains the time they sleep each night in minutes. Here, the explanatory variable is favorite jelly bean flavor and the response is time slept in minutes. Researchers want to know if owning a dog reduces a person's stress level. The explanatory here is whether or not a person owns a dog, and the response is stress level. A professor would like to know if a student's GPA can be explained by the level of homesickness, homesickness a student experiences. Here, the explanatory is level of homesickness, and the response is GPA. What kind of relationships are possible? There are two different kinds of relationships that we need to distinguish from one another. Two variables are associated if the values of one variable exist a pattern with values of the other variable. Associations are visual. We can see associations by looking at a plot or comparing numerical summaries. Associations do not necessarily mean that one variable has a direct influence on the other. Causation occurs when one variable directly influences another variable. The distinction between association and causation can be tricky. The key is to remember that associations are only visual. Understanding the distinction can be hard for people because when we see visual patterns, we tend to think that there is some underlying cause for the patterns. When looking at plots, many people are tempted to conclude that the two variables are linked since there is a pattern and it's not obvious there is no causation. This is not the case. Remember that associations do not determine causation. This brings us to an important rule. No matter how clear the pattern between two variables is on a plot, we can never use a plot to determine causation. 
We'll begin by looking at an example where there is a clear visual relationship, but no causation. Suppose that a scientist recently saw the Snickers commercial featuring sharks who love Snickers and becomes concerned that people who eat Snickers ice cream are more prone to shark attacks. If you've not seen this commercial, there's a link for it in the script. The, st the scientist has little funding and cannot perform a proper experiment, so he gathers data on the number of boxes of Snickers ice cream sold and the number of shark attacks in the same coastal region as the sales. He creates the following time plot. First, it should be noted that this is a terrible graph. Later in the course, we'll learn techniques for making easy to read informative plots. Let's start by identifying the explanatory and response variables for this example. What is the explanatory variable? Here, the explanatory variable is ice cream sales. The response variable is the number of sharks. And again, this is because we're using ice cream sales to explain the number of shark attacks. Next, by looking at the plot, notice that ice cream sales and number of shark attacks exhibit a similar pattern over time. This is an example of an association. The variables ice cream sales and the number of shark attacks are associated because over time we can see that they exhibit a similar pattern. Later, we will look at different types of associations. What we are interested in is learning, do ice cream sales cause shark attacks? The obvious answer here is no. Realistically, we know that ice cream sales do not cause shark attacks. It turns out that many variables will exist patterns over time, but there is no causation. Sometimes it's easy to determine that there's no causation. Consider this plot. This plot is making a comparison between the number of films that Nicolas Cage has appeared in and the number of people who have drowned in a swimming pool. Notice that these two variables have a similar pattern over time. Thinking rationally, you can see it's obvious that the number of films Nicolas Cage appears in has nothing to do with the number of drownings. Other times, it's much harder to determine that there is no causation. Consider the following plot. This plot is making a comparison between the number of individuals diagnosed with autism and the sales of organic food. Notice again that the variables have a similar pattern. This is a case where it's not obvious that causation is not present. The main take home here is no matter how clear the association, we can never use a plot alone to determine causation. This concludes the module 3.1 video.